Okay, thank you, loading screen. I thought I was I was about to say any time there, loading screen, any time, uh, whenever you want to, you know, continue. We're taking these. He's taking these arrows. Uh, he he's not quite sure if he plans to use a bow yet, but he still needs to finish off reading that book. So until he finishes reading in reading in reading the book, he uh, he shall not he shall not try and use a bow. What no? What are these chaps doing out in the freezing cold? Hello there. Hey, friend. It's good to see another merry soul enjoying this. I look merry. That's um interesting ah, that you think you that. I am. I've just had to fight the undead back there. Lots of them. About twenty or thirty or so. I'm not quite sure what this. What is this mead? No, I'm I'm new to this Why, land. Only the finest mead outside of Sovngarde. What on earth is Sovngarde? This is, like a is that a is that a town? On a starry night. And it's got enough kick to put a frost Something on tells me you have been drinking <laughs> way too much. But enough talk. Come. Um. Won't you share a drink with me and my companions? Well, I, I would. Uh, well, uh, he, he's quite thirsty. I'm not sure if he would say I would love to, but that's the only, that's the only <laughs> line we can choose there. So, thank you, thank you. That's that's very kind of you. Thank you. Now, uh, obviously, Jir did that. Said those things out of consideration. He's not rude. But on, honestly, I mean, I guess this is sort. He's going to definitely drink it. Oh, that! Oh, wow! He's uh, he certainly feels warm in his belly. That's quite nice. Um, what now? Oh, are those Khajiits? Those are Khajiits. Is the first Khajiit he's come across? Hello, brethren, brothers, sisters. <laughs> beauty in this place. Really? I I just see one mighty giant so snowstorm. To talk to us. Oh, you sell. Take a look. Thank you. Yes, what do you sell? Anything of interest for us? Uh, nothing in the w w ways of... Oh, no, well, uh, Jair isn't a... Jair isn't obviously a... a battle mage or anything. He doesn't use spells. He's uh, He was never He was never able to... He All he managed to do when he tried to cast the fireball was create a spark. So he, he wasn't very lucky in that regard. But he will take that. Wow! Look at the... Wow, I didn't realise how rich Jir had become. 1,400 gold. But to him, that is quite rich. But uh, he's, he's certainly going to buy a few potions, especially that cure disease, in case he comes across. Ah, moon sugar. He obviously he doesn't know that Khajiit's uh, a dabble in moon sugar, but um, so he's not going to buy it because he's not entirely sure what it is. But uh, and she has quite a bit of money now, so hopefully we can sell to her. Yes, we'd like to sell these. We are keeping our pelts for now, because... They, Jir has plans for them when he manages to find the Tanner, the Tannin Rack, or a Tannin Rack that he can use. He will get rid of that because he has no use for that, really. Ah, now he can sell off uh, some of the things he found. He's quite partial to keeping these, but he doesn't need both of them. Those are more expensive, so he'll sell them off. Um, well, he doesn't really need alteration spells at the end of the day, or destruction, so there's no point in keeping them. Really that either, but I will keep that just in case. Never, you never know in the future. He he may want to dabble in a bit of two-handed weaponry. Thank you. Uh, how how long have you, uh, you had trouble with the local? No, why would he ask? That? He wouldn't actually ask that, but he'd definitely ask how long have you been in Skyrim. So how long have you been in Skyrim? Not long in truth. I came to Skyrim after I found myself unwelcome in both elsewhere and Syria. Ah, oh, you're from elsewhere. I ah. seem to have a Obviously, Jir has never been to Elsewhere before, but he's always he's wondered about going to Elsewhere and his homeland. He knows it's his homeland, so. And it was he who helped to set me up with a trade caravan. Ah, I see. Now I work for him. That's that sounds nice. I wonder if. Uh... May your road lead you to warm sands. Thank you. Yes, I heard that. Kajit guards the others. I see. Something. Yeah, um, not not. For, I see you like to say this one a lot. Can I speak with you? No. Can I speak with you? Ah, oh, hello. Oh, you're having trouble with bandits, are you? A few days ago, we were ambushed. A nuisance, really. But many of the marauders had quick fingers. I see. One of them stole my moon amulet, given to me by my mother when I was just a cub. 
I see. My only memory of home in this cold land. See, now, despite the fact that Khajiit doesn't want much to do with anyone at the moment, he's quite the loner. This is a fellow Khajiit from elsewhere, and, you know, he knows how hard it is to, um... Because uh, well, he doesn't know if this certain individual, Car Car Carjo, has lost his mother, but it sort of, you know, it sort of hits hits home a little there because, as a cub, he he, you know, he has no memory of his mother. He never got to meet his mother, and he hasn't got anything from uh, his mother, so something to keep as a remnant of memory of her. So he sort of feels for Carjo here because, you know, he can imagine that having something that special to remind you of someone who's so very important to you even if you never got to meet them uh he felt he you know he feels the need to sort of he's willing to help out in this regard because of that so could i get you your emblem back to offer. we believe the bandits are part of a group headquartered here be careful i missed my amulet but a life cannot be replaced as easily very true very true indeed Thank you, that's very considerate of you. Thank you. If I find your amulet, I'll be sure to find you and get it back to you post haste. They was certainly, they certainly, it's uh, it's a shame that that female Khajiit said that they're, they're not treated very well here in Skyrim because they came across as very nice people and Jir is, uh, Jir is smiling right now, he's sort of, um, I don't know if he's really... Yeah, that's sort of a grin. I'd say that's a bit of a you know a happy smile, because you know he's finally got to meet. The, those are the first Kushi he's ever come across before, so he's quite. It's almost as if he thought he was the only one, and it's like oh my god, there's more of us. And they were really nice, and that sort of brings him pride to know that his, members of his race are kind and considerate, and nothing like those tainted royal, uh, nothing like those tainted high elves and Falmor. And that brings him a lot of pride, and he is definitely... Let's have a look at where this uh, amulet is. Thank you, quick saving. I, I know you're sort of doing well for us, but still, it's kind of annoying. So, ah, here, okay. So, we've actually been there before. If uh, anyone remembers, that's... I think that was in part four, when uh, Jair cleared that out, so he knows where that is. He's not going to go back there right now, that's for sure, but um, he'll, he'll make a point to go... He'll go there again soon and collect that amulet. And he's, he's nearing Dawnstar again, which he doesn't want to do. He's just realised, he's looked at his map and he's... Thankfully, thank you to the Khajiit. Uh, we'll say that the Khajiit sort of, you know... I mean, he has been marking places on his map. So he's, he's just realised that... Uh, thank you to the Khajiit, because he sort of... We'll say that that Khajiit there marked all of the main places since the caravan goes around to them. And he's just noticed he's quite close to Dawnstar. So he's going to... Um, He's probably going to head back down towards right, 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 White Run and then move that way and sort of see where that takes him. Oh, actually, no, actually, he's uh, saying that. He's sort of, after that Khajiit mentioned the forests, he's somewhat intrigued about seeing some forests in this land, actually getting out this horrid snow. So perhaps he'll head through all the way down to Right Run, go completely south and head for Fulcreef. Um, but he definitely needs to head this way towards White Run, and what we're going to do is going to just get rid of that because obviously that wouldn't be that wouldn't be realistic. Obviously, if he had a compass, a HUD telling him where exactly to go. So, oh, this is uh, some sort of shrine. Waiting stones. Hmm. What? What on earth? What on earth is that? What? What manner of beast is this? Good God, they are doing. What are they? He does not like whatever these are. And out of character, these are probably one of the most annoying enemies in the game. I hate Ice Race. And Jair is coming. Getting first hand experience of how evil these creatures are! Oh, good god, they killed him. That was certainly unlucky. Poor Jair. He, he succumbed to death. Well, I guess that's a let's play over. A le no, not let's play over. That's the role play over. Of course it's not. We have a quick save, luckily. Luckily, we quick save very... Uh, just a little while ago. And I do believe it was before we met... After we met the Khajiit. So, no worries there. Anyway, let's take this off. And... Um, Jir obviously doesn't know about this place now. But we're going to... 
he, uh, he, he senses a very eerie presence, so he's not going to go there. Quite lucky for him, actually, because... <laughs> so yes, he's now going to travel all the way down past Whiterun to Fork Reef. Uh, because he'd quite like to see some actual forests that aren't completely shrouded in snowstorms. He's kind of fed up with this cold snow now. He'd like to sort of escape a cold uh, snowstorm. More spiders! These forests seem to be absolutely littered with spiders. He's, uh... He doesn't mind. Obviously, they're not hard to kill, but... Well, they, uh... They don't seem to have any control around here, do they, of these evil creatures? One thing I think what well, Oblivion and Skyrim lacks is just the small things. Like, I mean, you do have these sort of... In Oblivion, at least, not it doesn't feel that way in Skyrim, but in Oblivion you have these random inns across these roads that, that you'd expect to be there because, obviously, they're there to... If people, travellers, need to sort of... Uh, at night, sleep, you obviously have a place to stay instead of moving at night because obviously it's a lot more dangerous. But that's that's what I feel that Skyrim really lacks. There isn't any of these really random inns just on the, along the roadside. You get a lot of forts, but you don't really get any inns, and it doesn't make much sense to me because surely you'd have an inn or two on the, on the main travelling roads for people to sort of stay in. It, it just makes sense to me, and uh, he's... Wait, oh, where, where, um, what on earth is, uh, a chicken? Yummy. And he's come across someone's farm. Hmm. Ah, White Run. Okay, he's, uh, he's, hmm, what's that down there? It's a random horse and cart. So, oh. Oh, they seem to have broken their will. That's, um, that's unfortunate. Ah, uh, perhaps the guard's coming to help him. Is there any more plants here? No? I thought I thought there... Ah, yes, Tundra Cotton. We shall take this. I haven't actually checked if it's useful yet, but... Uh, no, the guard is... Apparently completely ignoring the poor fellow. Oh. Okay. Um, this individual's a little... Oh, that, that's his mother? Oh, oh. Oh, dear. Again... Jair is feeling compelled to help this individual because from what he gave us, that's his mother in that box. Um, could be a coffin and uh, she must be a very big lady. But um, again, he, you know, he, he feels for this, this man here because obviously, again, from what I was saying earlier, he's, he's never been able to have an experience of his own with a mother figure because he never got to meet his mother. So he feels compelled to help him. So uh, hello, hello there. <laughs> Right, we've already had that, but have you got a problem? I, I've noticed. I, I, I did. I, I, oh, I, I see. You have a very odd way of dealing with death, that's for sure. I see. I, I saw. Yes, I, I did see. Um... Can I help in any way? Oh. Okay. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, Interesting. The can certainly help. Go to the farm, the Lorius farm, just over there, off the road. Talk to Lorius. He has tools. He can help me. But he won't. He refuses. Why on earth would he refuse you? <laughs> Well, I mean, <laughs> your demeanour is a little bit interesting, considering your mother is dead in a crypt right there. Not to be morbid, but... Coin! Uh, okay, then. Well, not only... not only Okay, he's more compelled now, because obviously, as I said, he's he's looking to amount some wealth. So, uh, compel he's compelled to help this man because of his poor mother, but to be paid as well for his services, uh, that's certainly something he will do. And he's hoping that this this man is still awake. Uh, hello, is is, uh, is anyone awake? Anyone in here right now? Hello. Loading screen. Oh, oh they're asleep. Uh, well, you know this man is in need of help, and considering the farmer here has a house and he is warm and he's not out there in the dark where evil creatures could suddenly crop up, he's going to talk to him. Uh, sir, oh, Mr. Loris. Oh, um, well, uh. 
The little man uh, really needs your help with this wagon that's broken down there. The wheels come off. That Cicero fella? Uh, that's the one. Huh. Tell me something I don't know. Crazy fools oh. already asked me about five times. Seems he's not satisfied with my answer. What? Why can't he just leave us alone? Well, what's the problem exactly? I'm, I'm sure he'll pay you for your services. Pay me? You think this is about money? Um, well, it is, yeah, it's... He's completely out of his head. A well, jester, you know, his Skyrim? mother's probably just died. It's a way of dealing with her death. For a hundred years. And he's transporting some giant box. Says it's a coffin. And he's it going to bury be. his mother. Mother, my eye. Well, uh, how do you... What? In there. War contraband, weapons, scuba. Oh. Well, that, no that's true. Of that. But she could have been a very big woman. You never know. She could have been a rather large woman, and she needed a very reinforced coffin. All the coffins within the box to protect it. You, you, sir, you're... Hmm. She is not too uh, impressed with this man, considering poor Cicero, the, you know, he's, he's trying to move his mother's coffin. He, he recently deceased from what you hear gathers, and this man's been a very cold-hearted bastard in Jair's eyes, so... Yes, he's a stranger who needs assistance. Do the and right thing. Who in Mara's name are you, anyway? Hmm? Come here, telling me my business. And for what? To help a, a, a fool? He's... You know you should help him. Look, I... I... Yes, you're right, you're right. Feller might be nutters, might not. The fact is, he needs help. He does. Turn him away. What kind of a man am I? Huh? Exactly. Look, Question your motives. Thanks. And I'm sorry for my unneighborly reaction. If you talk to Cicero, you be sure to tell him I'll be down to help soon. Uh, uh, well, I, I shall. Um, and thank you for reconsidering. Well, I guess that sort of teach Jair a lesson, a lesson in the way that he shouldn't never judge a book by its cover. Because that man ended up, you know, he was just... A, the man was just a little concerned, and perhaps Jair shouldn't be so cold towards everyone he meets. You know, especially when he came across those Nords that gave him uh, gave him some honey brew mead just out of the kindness of their hearts, and they even wished him a good day. And then he came across the Khajiit, that his own kind, of course, but still they were very kind to him. So perhaps he shouldn't um, he shouldn't be so judgmental before meeting someone. So it's taught him a bit of a lesson. Uh, uh, hello, Cicero. Hello there. I talked to Loris. Uh, he's agreed to fix your wagon for you. You, you did. I he did. Has? He has indeed. Oh, stranger! You have made Cicero so happy. I'm so very happy to ecstatic, hear it. But more, even more. My mother thanks you. Uh, well, uh, that's. Here, here uh, oh, thank you. Gold, a few coins for your kind deed, and thank you, thank you again. <laughs> you're, you're, you're very welcome. Certainly, th you certainly needed the help, so you're very welcome. Thank you for the gold. I very much appreciate. It. Oh my word, two hundred and fifty. Very, thank you, indeed. That was very kind of you. Well, I'm glad to have been of service. Uh, good. I hope your mother rests in peace when you manage to get her to her crypt. You meant to be looking out for the people. Just walking past here. Bastard. Um, so yes, that's taught you here quite quite the lesson there that he shouldn't be very shouldn't be so judgmental or cold towards people. So you know he's sort of thinking maybe not. Maybe you shouldn't be too much of a loner. Uh, he doesn't have to tell people of his past. He's sure he could still you know bring up a conversation with people and get to know them a little at least. He doesn't have to become best friends with them. So you know he's. Incident with Mr. Loris, the farmer there, sort of changed him a little. You know, changed his way of thinking. Perhaps he shouldn't just brush people off instantly. But anyway, now that he's uh, got some more gold and feels much, you know, feels even better now because he's managed to help. To he's he's going to going to help that other Kaji. And obviously, actually, the way he's going, he could actually just take a quick detour and get that uh, that Khajiit's mother's. Uh, necklace for him, and then he can move down towards uh, full crease. Uh, full creep after that. So perhaps, perhaps that is something he will do. Uh, he's been travelling throughout the night, though. He's, he's just realised, and he really does need to sleep. But yeah, he's not quite sure if he wants to head back to White Run. 
But then again, he probably was he was gone within this uh, you know a day, so perhaps nobody will have alerted the authorities. He's quite sure that the family hadn't been there yet, so he's going to head back to White Run, and then after that, he's going to claim that necklace for the Khajiit, and it's off to Falkreath. So uh, that that certainly should be interesting. There's, he's quite looking forward to seeing what the forest looks like uh, in Skyrim that isn't completely coated in snow. So yes, off to White Run, and then we shall see the lovely foresty land of Fulcrief. What what awaits us there? I wonder.